Hey everybody, it's Dave from Dragonstorm, and I'm here today to open up for your viewing pleasure a Rivals of Ixalan bundle. Uh, I'm hoping that we'll get some good cards because I'm looking to upgrade the uh, Planeswalker decks that I did videos on recently. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's break this open and see what we can find. I uh, love these because mostly I try to avoid the booster boxes nowadays. Uh, I just found that I didn't get a lot of value out of them. They're kind of expensive, so I stick with the bundles. There's some good value there, I think. Uh, not only in the packs, but also in terms of some of the supplementary product. Uh, certainly not this box per se, but uh, the other things such as this beautiful book, which has uh, card indexes. <clears throat> Um, anti-theft devices, <clears throat> excuse me, but most importantly some lore as well. Get a bit more background on some of the characters and you know some of the artifacts and planeswalkers. Look at that beautiful picture. Uh, I, I adore these books. You know there's just so much so much we had in, in collecting these and I do uh, have quite a, a stack of them uh, but uh, that's for another day perhaps. <clears throat> if I uh, open up this outer packaging it turns into or transforms as it were into a beautiful poster uh, you may have noticed the posters up on my wall all fell down <laughs> I'm hoping to find something a little more permanent in the future but there's this beautiful um, several panel picture which is hopefully to be soon featured prominently in the background <clears throat> so uh, let's without further ado <clears throat> get further into this I apologize I got a bit of a frog in my throat today. I'm not sure where that came from. It literally just sort of materialized. There's our beautiful Arrivals event Ixalan spin down counter. It comes with a land pack. Not as exciting this time around because of course unlike Amon Cat and Hour of Devastation there are no full arts in there but certainly some cool um, additions to my land box which grows ever larger. There's a nice little storage box there where I keep my uncommons. A little uh, quick reference guide for Magic the Gathering. But most importantly are these beautiful 10 packs. So I'll go through them fairly quickly. <clears throat> Not going <clears> to <throat> bother too much with the commons, but I'll kind of slide through them so you can get a sense of what's in here. I will take a, a closer look at the uncommons and, of course, the rare slash mythic. <clears throat> so our first uncommon is a Forerunner of the Heralds. Wonderful merfolk scout there. A Slippery Scoundrel. Haven't had a chance to play this card yet in any limited formats, but I hope to eventually. Uh, it turns out that Ascend is easier to achieve than I thought. Oh, and hello, Needle Tooth Raptor. This may have to find the home in my dinosaur deck. Now, Rare is a Tomb Robber. Actually want to try this guy in my Explore deck as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. Island and an elemental totem. Haven't seen this before either. I wouldn't mind seeing the uh, phoenix this is associated with. Okay, pretty good start. Pretty happy with that. Let's go into pack two. Uh, I decided actually uh, as of Friday, because on Fridays, of course, Friday Magic, uh, I get a pack, uh, more than one if I'm lucky, uh, a pack from the... Um, Standard, standard tournament, uh, I'll probably do like a pack one, pick one video to go with it instead of just an opening. Uh, I'm not going to do that today. Don't have time in the video for that. But uh, let's see what we've got here. Our uncommons include a Sky Marcher Aspirant, a Dire Fleet Neckbreaker. That could go in the Pirates deck. Uh, that would be the um, Angrath one. Silvergill Adept. <laughs> Our rare is a Wayward Sword Tooth. 5-5 five, five, uh, Ascend. You may play additional land on each of your turns. Wayward Sword Tooth can't attack or block unless you have the City's Blessing. There's a beautiful Sapling token. I actually <laughs> uh, looked back on some of my old cards and found an old Sapling token, and they are just <laughs> disturbing in comparison. It's like a mushroom-covered beastie. It's just weird looking. All right, pack three. I keep forgetting that I've found a new way of opening these packs. I keep forgetting that I've found a new way of opening packs, which is a little less destructive. I'll show you next one. 
There's our common cards. Let's see what we've got here. There's some decent cards for limited. Actually, this would be like the tough one for a pack one pick one so far, even just in the commons. Let's see. Uncommons. Curious Obsession. Merfolk Mistbinder. Another Direfleet Neckbreaker. All sorts of value. Oh, and here's a Direfleet Daredevil. I used him actually in my pre-release, or her, I guess, sorry. And she turned out to be very good, although I only actually used her as a 2-1 first striker. <laughs> Never actually got a chance to use her, uh, her um, ETB effect or enter the battlefield effect. All right. Moving along to pack. Oh, I did it again. You're supposed to, like, flip this middle piece up and then just pull on the sides. It's a really handy, fast way of doing it, but I'm just, I've been opening packs the same way for so long. I'm apparently quite old and don't like change. Uh, like a dinosaur, apparently. <laughs> so, commons. There's some neat ones. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Travis Amulet. Love that one for limited. Our uncommons include a forerunner of the Legion. A Legion Lieutenant. I've got all sorts of these uh, lords now. Uh, this guy led me down a bad path last draft. Uh, Thrashing Brontodon. Very playable. 3-4 three, for 3. Oh, oh, hello, hello, Tetsamok Primal Death, legendary creature, Elder Dinosaur, 6-6 six, six for 6, uh, 4 generic and 2 black for a death touch, and he's got a cool ability, you can play, uh, pay a black mana to reveal Tetsamok Primal Death from your hand, put a prey counter on the target creature, activate this ability only during your turn, when Tetsamok enters the battlefield, destroy each creature your opponent controls, your opponent's control with a prey counter on it. Ah. And a cool foil planes, a regular island, and a vampire token. This guy I'm going to be using in some capacity, I'm sure. He is just beautiful. I mean, seriously, look at the art. Uh, but also just so destructive. Very bomby. Love it. That is my first uh, Elder Dinosaur. Uh, so that's fantastic. I'm quite excited. I'm so excited, in fact, that I've forgotten how to open packs. Again. <laughs> so, commons, do, 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 do. let's flip through those guys pretty quick. All right, oh, here we go, Highland Lake, our first uncommon. I actually hadn't noticed how cool the artwork is for that. Very, uh, Cretaceous. Ravenous Chupacabra, all the good black cards. <laughs> There's the uh, mythic uncommon of the set. I would say that Charging Monster Sword was the last set's mythic uncommon. Silver Gill Adept, oh. Does this mean I have a flip card, perhaps? Ooh, Journey to Eternity. This has been a really good bundle. Um, okay, so Journey to Eternity says, uh, Legendary Artifact Aura, cost one generic, one black, and one green. Enchant creature you control. When enchanted creature, enchanted creature dies, return to the battlefield under your control. Then return Journey to Eternity to the battlefield transformed under your control. It transforms into uh, Atzal, Cave of Eternity. I can tap it for one mana of any color to my mana pool, or I can tap it and pay three generic, one black, one green to return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, such a good black deck will be created by these last three packs in particular, or two packs in particular. That is awesome. Okay, moving right along. I'm gonna open some of the I told you I would. So you can see how cool this, excuse me, this is. Pull from Tomorrow. <laughs> All right, commons. I uh, can't wait to uh, to get to Friday to do uh, a bit more FNM, the standard, and then of course there's a draft coming up this weekend. Very excited about that. Hope that your local game store has got some cool events. There's a pitiless, pitiless plunder, crested herd caller, famished paladin, and the rare is a deep root elite. Haven't played with this one either. Uh, one generic and one green for a 1-1 one, one Merfolk Warrior. Whenever another Merfolk enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target Merfolk you control. Hmm, pretty cool. Merfolk enabler. There's a City's Blessing card if you haven't seen it yet. They are more rare than I thought they would be. I'm actually hoping to get a foil one uh, from the uh, Friday Night Magic maybe this week. That just would look very sweet. Very sweet indeed. So we've got three more packs after this one. There are commons. Got a whole bunch of them. We've seen them all before. 
Let's get to those uncommons though. Foul Orchard. Again, cool art. I gotta take more time to appreciate that. Thunder Herd Migration. Arterial Flow. I just love the name of that one. And the rare is a Radiant Destiny. It has Ascend. It is a two generic and one white. As Radiant Destiny enters the battlefield, you choose a creature type. Creatures you control with the chosen type get plus one, plus one. As long as you have the City's Blessing, they also have Vigilance. Interesting tribal synergy. I may have to add that to my dinosaur deck. There's a foil expel from Orazka. It's our first uh, non-land foil. Pretty nice, actually. I like how that's looking there. Forest and a vampire token. Awesome. This has been a really good bundle so far. I'm quite happy with uh, how things worked out. <clears throat> So, Legion Conquistador, Sea Legs, lots of commons. Skip through those guys. I just totally sniffed in the mic. I apologize. Stone Quarry is our first uncommon. Mausoleum Harpy, which actually turned out to be better than I thought it would be in my last draft. Not, you know, bomb worthy, but certainly playable. Majestic Helioptorus. Uh, I've heard mixed results about this guy but looking forward to trying him at one point and temple altasaur which i i admit i haven't been too terribly impressed with it's been it's been a playable card but not i don't know not not the, the best perhaps in the uh dinosaur wheelhouse as it were two packs to go see what we get from this one here. You know, actually, I may have the last pack. I'll try doing a pack one, pick one sort of thing. Like last pack, pick one, I guess. If it's for, as if I was drafting. That'd be kind of cool, maybe. You might appreciate that, perhaps. Let's skip right ahead to the uncommons. Strength of the pack. Again, look at the art. Look at that mouth. Like, if that came after me, I would have no strength in the pack at all. Blazing Hope, a card which I, I don't uh, I don't quite get. Oh, this was actually would have, this actually would have saved me in one of my drafts when my opponent pulled Netzahal, the the blue elder dinosaur. I'm not sure if he's got like an anti spell effect or something like that. But this, no, that was just bad game. <gasps> Golden demise. This is going in the pirate deck for sure. That's very cool. My first one of those. And crafty cut purse is the rare. Uh, I have a friend who said that this card turned out really well in his draft. I am not convinced, but I look forward to trying it one day. All right. Okay, so I'm going to pretend this is pack one, pick one in a draft. And I will kind of go through the cards and explain my thought process, if it helps, as to whether or not it would be a good pick one, pack one. Uh, I guess prefacing that with the fact that I'm not the best drafter in the world, but I do like to think that maybe... I can provoke some conversation. So, uh, Moment of Triumph, uh, decent trick. I actually quite like that card. Sailor of Means, in the right deck, I think it's good, but I think the format's a bit fascinating for splashing it's good, but I still think Moment of Triumph has my vote. Frilled Death Spitter, a uh, very good aggressive card. I like it in a dinosaur deck. I like it in some situations, I would not like to first pick it though, so I'll put that as a second choice there. Hardy Veteran, serviceable two drop. I think two drops are important. Uh, so maybe a little bit higher than Death Spitter, but not as high as Moment of Triumph. Dinosaur Hunter, uh, man, two, two for two. It's, it's basically a bear that's slight upside, so I'll put him behind Sailor of Means. Aggressive Urge. Replaces itself. It's nice, but it's more expensive than the plus two plus two. So I'm gonna put that one at the bottom. Traveler's amulet. Uh, I would not pick this one first pick, but I certainly do like that card a lot. Martyr of Dusk. Ooh, two one for two when it dies. It replaces itself. Hmm. I probably still would. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe I'll put that one on top of the time being. Dark Inquiry, uh, not really a card for a little bit, I don't think. Soul of the Rapids, expensive. Some people are happy with this card. I am not. Riverwise Augur, what does he do again? 
Draw three cards, but get card selection. I'll put him on top. Charging Tuscadon, 4-4 four, four, Trampler. This is four cost for a 2-2 two, two with card selection. Mm, tough call. I think I like the Charging Tuscadon better. Oath Sworn, Vamp Oath Sworn Vampire would not be enough to get me into Pirates. And our rare is Kamena's Awakening. Ascend. You know, card draw is good. Ascend is not as hard as I thought to get activated. But four cost enchantment, which doesn't do anything when it comes into play, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. So I think my pack one, pick one here would be Charging Tuscadon, and that would get me nicely into red. Uh, second pick would probably be the auger, then putting me into blue. So let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. On the whole, I think it's fair to say that that bundle was very successful. If for no other reason than I got a Tetsamok Primal Death. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe if you think I have earned it. And have a fantastic day.